and just like that, my exam is delivered. But yeah, good morning. I just, I actually just woke up, just so I could deliver that and put on my fireplace to make it more vibey in here. And I put it on chapstick. And that's all I have done. You get me at my most prettiest side. Hello. I'm so fucking warm. <laughs> I have 40 minutes before I have to go, so we have to chop chop. And I need to do something with my hair. Like my baby hairs, they are just living their own life at the moment. Like I have I have a full on mane right now. Oh, I think I'm just going to time lapse this. So I'm going to spare you some time. Yeah. They say the wheat will keep your speech low. Evading all belief, and yeah. I've been grieving through a window. A shame, anxiety. I made it home. I am tired, <laughs> to say the least. It was nice to finally just get home again and chill. <laughs> I hate walking alone in the city, and so I always use my headphones as a security blanket. So to you or to anyone who criticizes people for wearing headphones out in the public and using it as a fashion item, no, no, no. I use it for a security blanket so I don't freak out in public because it's a lot of people and I think everybody hates me. I'm a very calm and collective person and um, it's probably hard to believe it, but I am very calm. I'm Norwegian. Like that is who I'm supposed to be, calm and collective and just chill. But today I was walking in town and downtown, minding my own business, having my headphones on and my umbrella and being like totally unapproachable. <laughs> this man just comes up to me and he's like, hey, he spoke English as well. So I was like, oh my god, my brain is getting a shock because I can't just go straight from Norwegian to English. So I, like, I at least need some type of minutes to get there. But he started speaking like, do you have 50 kroner? Which is like around $5, not a lot. But he was asking if I had like a $5 check. Not a check, but like bill, you call it bill. And I don't, I never carry cash with me. I know it's such a bad habit because if something happens. But he was like, do you have $5? in cash and i was like no i don't i'm sorry and he started being like yeah but i needed to take the bus and i was like i'm so sorry but i don't have it and then he started to push me into go down to like a supermarket to buy him some food and i was like man this is not for me i'm not doing this i'm about to have a panic attack so you just like this is going to be messy if you keep doing this i didn't say it but i thought about it i was about to say it but i didn't then he got angry with me because I said no. That triggered me. I hate, hate it when people approach you and they ask something and you're like respectfully decline or like, oh, sorry, I can't. And they just get mad at you. Like it's my fucking fault. You could walk to every other person here in the fucking street, but you chose me, which first of all decided to be totally unapproachable, but you approached me anyway. And I had to take off my headphones and be like, sorry. And he just got mad and I was so close to just snap at him because yeah, that, oh, that just triggers me. I'm sorry, maybe you were in a distress or something. I totally get it if you were out of money and all that. But like, don't push someone to lend your money or something. And I gave him options. I was like, if you go down there and there, they will help you and all that. But he just like full on declined. He was like, I want you. <laughs> and I was like, uh-uh, I don't want this. I did not agree on this. I'm just here trying to be okay. 
after a yeah, therapy session. So I was like, let me just walk you down the street with my headphones on, being unapproachable, and you just come and approach me to pressure me out of money so I could buy you something. Which didn't actually make sense because you wanted it to take the bus, but then you didn't because you wanted food. But then you wanted to take the bus again, but it was mainly food that you wanted, like a bread. And I was like, this doesn't make sense right now. But yeah, anyway, um, I said no and I turned around and I actually walked away. <laughs> I didn't look back because I was terrified that man was about to run after me. If I get angry at someone or someone just trigger me where I'm like, and annoyed, I will tell you. <laughs> like, this is not acceptable and I fucking hate it. Just move along. Pick someone else because this is not it. Like, this is not it. I can look cute, sweet and all of that, but like, I can't believe I just said that. When I walk alone, I look pretty unapproachable without trying. <laughs> But when I try to look unapproachable, I am very unapproachable, in all seriousness. You can ask, yeah, I'm no problem if, like, if strangers are asking, oh, do you have a $5 bill or something? I'm gonna be like, yeah, if I had one, I would give it to you, like, yeah, no problem. But if I don't have it, and I don't have opportunity to go down to a store with a stranger who seems very aggressive, I'm not gonna do it. Just be respectful, okay? Ask people, be respectful and be like, okay, if they say no, just be okay with it and be like, okay, fine. Then I will probably see if I can find someone else. Or if you go now to stores as well and tell them like, okay, I have a problem right now, I don't have money, but do you have something I could get? Because often stores have um, food that are cannot be sold, uh, either because it's open or something, and often there are opportunities there to get something. You know what I mean? Like, don't pressure someone to get money. But yeah, that was my story from town. I also was in a few stores and did a little shopping spray. Um, I actually did not buy anything at Collective, which is a vintage and a secondhand boutique, which have so much cute, by the way. But they are expensive. Uh, sometimes I can justify price, sometimes I cannot. And it's also very hit and miss with what you find. So yeah, I did not end up buying anything at Collective or the first store. I bought myself a new umbrella. I had a blue one and I always want a black one because like it goes better with the outfits more than a bright blue one. So yeah, I bought a black one. I went in to my local bookshop and bought a few books because why not? Like why not? Why not? I deserve it. I just came from therapy. <laughs> I need like an emotional support shopping spree to just lighten the mood a little bit. But I bought Vogue because I love to collect Vogue magazines. I collect basically Vogue, the British Vogue and uh, Scandinavian Vogue because I am studying to be a journalist. You learn something by looking at other people's work. I bought five books. I bought The Firekeeper's Daughter. I heard not too much about it. So I was very intrigued and I also like the cover. So I'm excited excited to see or read it at least. I also bought Archer's Voice and I am not sure if I have it already. But anyway, I bought Archer's Voice, then uh, Death in Her Hands by Otessa Mushfeg. Oh, I'm so sorry. I feel like I butched that name so hard. I'm so sorry. I also bought this one, The Night and Its Moon. I haven't heard anything about it, but I, it sounds so intriguing and I'm such a sucker for like light and dark. like yin and yang and <laughs> like the opposite of each other i don't know i just love like opposite things of things like yeah sun and the moon light and dark yin and yang black and white like i just love it yeah it just spoke to me and i love the cover so i had to get it i have heard nothing about it i really don't know anything about it really so i'm really excited to read that as well then of course I picked up Carrie Soto is back because I've heard amazing things about it and, and it's Taylor Jenkins read so I kind of had to so that are also the books I bought in town I'm really excited to get into them or right, that is what I bought downtown lovely I just lost my phone and I'm pretty sure I just had it in my hand five seconds ago and now I don't know where the fuck it went. Oh, uh, why? Oh, found it. The clock is a quarter to midnight or it's 15 minutes until midnight and I think I'm, and I think our brain is just 
not working right now but it's 15 minutes until midnight and I think I am going to take a big nap but more like I'm going to sleep that is what I meant and also I'm reading better than a movie at the moment and yeah I've just started it actually but I really enjoy it so far it's really it's really cute and it has a lot of like references to romantic movies or rom-coms so if you like that and like enemies to lover kind of stuff i really recommend this book and also i love it at the beginning of each chapter you have like a little quote like this one from a movie and i think it's super cute and also i'm pretty sure yeah the book has its own playlist like that is cute i love that but i do think i'm going to bed now or going to sign off yeah, I hope your day has been good. But thank you for hanging out with me and spending the day with me. Thank you very much for that. I really appreciate it. And I hope you get a good day tomorrow. Like and subscribe for a good day tomorrow. I will link my socials down below if you want to follow me on Instagram or TikTok. I can link the books that I got today. I can link them down below from Book Depository. Those are not affiliate links. I just like to get my books from Book Depository. I don't know if you're from America, how that works, or if you have to get them from Amazon, or if you have your own kind of popular book site. But I know, at least in Europe, Book Depository is the thing. And that is where I'm mostly getting my books, actually, from when I'm shopping online. But yeah, I'm going to bed. Good night. Have a good day tomorrow. And I will see you soon. Yeah. Bye.